Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter four, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so these ones, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to do the butterfly method where we were circling and multiplying diagonally to see if they were equivalent. But we are gonna be able to go ahead and um, kind of easily see where it is we need to be, okay? So we know that three times 11 is 33, okay? So now we need to do 24 times 11 to get what this needs to be, okay? So one times four is four, one times two is two. We don't have any six, but that's okay. Tack and toe, and then one times 24 again. Okay, add those up. So 264, okay? Okay, there we go. Okay, seven times three is 21. Well, what times three is 27? Nine. Okay, all right. So nine times six is 54, okay? So what times six is 12? Well, two, okay? If you need to do it the other way, you can. 54 divided by nine is six. 12 divided by six is two. So 54 divided by what is nine? 12 divided by what is by the same number is gonna be two, okay? All right, so three times four is gonna be 12, or 12 divided by what is three? Four, so then two times four is eight, okay? You guys do six through 12, you totally can, okay? All right, honeybees produce seven pounds of honey for every one pound of beeswax they produce. Use equivalent ratios to find out how many pounds of honey are produced when 25 pounds of beeswax are produced. So for every one pound, I'm sorry, for every seven pounds of honey, one pound is there. So one pound of beeswax. So if 25 pounds of beeswax, okay, that means one times 25, obviously, is 25. So seven times 25. Okay, seven times five is 35. Carry out three. Seven times two is 14 plus three. 17, 175. Okay, so 175 pounds of beeswax. Okay, that's your answer, guys. Okay, or sorry, of honey. Oh, no, beeswax, honey. Bottom one was beeswax, top one was honey. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, a three-ounce serving of tuna provides 21 grams of protein. Use equivalent ratios to find out how many grams of protein are in nine ounces of tuna. So, three, 21, nine ounces of tuna. Okay, so three times what is nine? Three times three, so 21 times three is gonna be 63. So 63 grams of protein. Okay, all right guys, good job. So we're gonna flip it over. You guys are going to take care of a lesson check. Totally can. Okay. What is the quotient, which just means the answer to a division problem, of two and four fifths divided by one and one third? So I'm going to come over here and go two and four fifths divided by one and one third. So I'm going to do dead man first. Okay. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and I'm going to keep that 5. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and I'm going to keep my denominator. Okay, so now in fractions, when we want to divide, 
we keep, we change, and we flip. So now, three and five are both prime, so I'm not going to be able to do anything with those unless they go into 14 or four, which they don't. Okay, but four is an even number, 14 is an even number. So four divided by two is going to be two, and 14 divided by two is going to be seven. Okay, so then we have nothing that can, we have four prime numbers there, so nothing's going to be able to be um, reduced any further. Okay, so then I have seven times three is 21, and five times two is 10. Well, 10 is going to go into 21 in order to make it back into a next number. Okay, 10 is going to go into 21 two times. I would have one left over and I would keep my denominator. So two and one tenth. Okay, you need to make sure that you write your work down. So pause it, go back, do whatever you need to do to write your work down. Okay, that's this work. Okay, all right. I'm going to go ahead and get started with number four. What is the absolute value? Of two of negative two and two thirds. Well, the absolute value just means how far away from zero is it? Okay, doesn't care if it's negative or positive, it's still the same amount away from zero. Okay, so the absolute value is just two and two thirds. Okay, all right. On a map, a clothing store is located at negative two, negative three. The seafood restaurant is located six units to the right of the clothing store. What are the coordinates of the restaurant? So let me just one second. Okay. So one of these, one of these. Okay. All right. So negative two, negative three. One, two, one, two, three. That's the clothing store. Okay. So it just says the seafood restaurant is located six units to the right of the clothing store. So we're going to go right six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there's no change in elevation. Okay, so there's no, no change on the y axis. Okay, just the x. Okay, so we are going to see what that is. So we're going to go over one, two, three, four. And then down one, two, three, or negative three. Okay. Oh, I gave you all those lines. You don't need them, but that's okay. Okay. Marisol plans to make nine mini sandwiches for every two people attending her party. Write a ratio that is equivalent. Okay. So nine over two. Well, if I multiply nine by two, I get 18. If I multiply two by two, I get four. Okay. I could do nine times three, which is 27. Two times three, which is six. Okay. I could do nine times four, which is 36. Two times four, which is eight. Okay. Any of those will work. You just have to write down one of them. Okay. You could keep going if you want. You could do nine times 100 and then two times 100. Okay. Same thing. Okay. As long as you multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.5. Come back for 4.6. See you soon.